played, probably played in France more than any other country in the world, including England or Ireland, where I'm from. So there's definitely some sort of connection. Uh, I don't know what it is exactly, but the only thing I know is like the, gig, the gigs here are consistently good. You know, I play here a lot. Um, it's always a lot of fun. People respond really well. Um, it's interesting as well because I can see, you know, I can see on my numbers, you know, I can see on my Facebook or my SoundCloud and things. It shows you, you know, breakdown of how many listeners you have in each country. And actually, uh, I think Germany is my number one country for listeners, and then I think maybe UK second, and th- I think France is third. But for some reason, even though the the, the gigs, the, in terms of the gigs, France is number one for gigs, even though it's not number one in terms of listeners. I don't know why that is, but maybe it's just the scene here in general is sort of quite suited to the style of music I do. People like the sort of more melodic music, I guess. Um, I suppose a lot of clubs in Germany are more sort of, yeah, more that German techno, you know, more kick drum oriented sort of stuff. And then in the UK, it's a lot more, I guess in the UK, there's a lot of, a lot of most of the clubs are more broken beat oriented. It's got that big sort of drum and bass, dubstep sort of history, you know, well, I mean, dubstep's new, but that's sort of, basically come from the sort of garage and drum and bass and you know the broken beat scene so I guess the 4-4 the four four stuff isn't as big in the UK so maybe that, that explains partly why I play here a lot but yeah. By speaking about geography uh, okay we spoke about France uh, but you're also going to make a, a kind of tour in South America in a few times. Yeah um, I've got a, t- a small South America tour at the end of November um, and I've, all, I've just I'm just back from uh, as sort of North America tour, so I did Canada, America, and Mexico okay. uh, for a month like, a few weeks ago, um, which is great. And I'm going back to the Americas again in wow. end of November for two or three weeks just to do Argentina, Uruguay, and Mexico again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely the Americas, North and South, is definitely a, a new territory. Which is, I mean, there's a boom there. There's this huge because they never really caught on to the sort of dance music and you know whenever there was a European boom in the late 90s and early 2000s it never really caught on in America uh, but I think at the moment America's it really it's sort of caught on now and all the kids in America are listening to electronic music and yeah so the, the gigs are you know coming and the interest is coming which is great so hopefully it's going to sort of be a whole new region that's going to I mean uh, in South I mean South America's already had a massive scene for a while but North America is a relatively newer thing, you know, to to really be sort of getting electronic music into the mainstream and to have a lot of club events. So hopefully that hopefully it'll work. But the, the only problem there is, especially in North America, that the laws are really strict. The clubs have to close at like three p three a.m. and you know it's they're, they're very tight on the you know how many people can get into the clubs and everything's really tightly regulated. Just in general, in in North America, it's quite a uh, yeah, the, the government are pretty controlling in a lot of ways. Um, and it, I don't know whether that's going to stifle the club scene, but hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be able to you know, blossom as it, as it should do. It seems to be going well, so yeah. Uh, and um, uh, as well for North America or South America, it's uh, about your gigs, the book there. It's uh, just managed by your, uh, by your team or sometimes uh, you've got some friends, artist friends or label uh, friends who wants who contacts you directly and after you send them to, to your management? Um, generally it's dealt with just through my agent. Um, the North America, the last tour I did, I think every, all the gigs were... No, that's not true. There was... Okay, there, there was... Uh, one gig was through... was related to Resident Advisor, the, the website, which they, they were doing parties out there. And I, I did one of their parties. And most of them were through my agent, but I mean, obviously they still booked in through my agent, but there was a secondary connection. Of the gigs I'm doing next time for the South America tour, I think two of them are Hertz label nights. So it's uh, Stefan Bodzin's record label. So again, there's another connection there. It's not strictly just through my agency, but there's sort of label connections or you know media connections and things like that. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, still about South America. You uh, you know a little bit the scene there. You, you know some Harleys there uh, or um, not uh, so much. Um, I don't know. I to be honest. I don't know the scene at all, really. I know I know Mexico a little bit, but in terms of South America, like proper, so, like I don't, I don't, I really don't know much about it at all. All I know is that there's huge parties, and it's brilliant. People, a lot of friends of mine who DJ there, like Stefan, for example, he goes, he loves it, you know. And everyone that plays there loves it. So I'm looking forward to. I mean, I've been waiting to actually get sort of going there more regularly, you know. And it seems finally it's 
that side of things coming together in that in that region. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll be a regular thing, and I'll get to actually discover the scene there.